After working days and nights without sleep, we finally present to you Biomimicry Termite Mount. Hey, what is Biomimicry? Biology ah? No, Biomimicry isn't just biology. It's when engineers or inventors imitate nature's biological designs or processes as a solution. Oh. Hi, Hi I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Wen Fang. Hi, I'm Johan. I'm Megumi. Let's start with the very beginning. What is Biomimicry Termite Mount? The idea of Biomimicry Termite Mount was born in 1991. Mick Pierce, an architect, was hired by an investment group to build a large building, but they didn't want to afford the expensive cost of air conditioners. Hence, he was challenged to make a building that cools itself. His solution was to design a building that was heavily inspired by termite mounts. If you look at the appearance of the building which was built by this idea, it is made of slabs and bricks, which have a high thermal mass just like a soil in a termite mount. What does this mean? Meaning, these materials are able to absorb a lot of heat without really changing the temperature. The exterior of the building the exterior of the building is prickly light and cactus, which increases the surface area, improving the heat loss at night and reducing heat gain during the day. The building has small windows in order to minimize heat absorption, and extended overhangs provide extra shade. You might be wondering, how does this work? First, let's see how a termite mound cools itself. Despite the termite mound's strong and solid appearance, air can still pass through termite mounds easily due to its tiny holes throughout the termite mound. Inside the termite mound, it conducts exhalation and inhalation like a giant lung as temperature rises and falls during the day. During the day, the sun heats up the outer chambers more quickly than the core, rising the hot air up then only moving down to the core as cool air. During the night, the current reverses as outer chambers lose heat to the cool at night air, rising hot air from the core up then moving as cool air down the outer chambers. This entire time, carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged through the tiny hole in the termite mount. <coughs> as I was saying, inside the building, low power fans are placed to pull cool night air from outside and disperse it through each floor. The concrete blocks absorb the cold, insulating the building and chilling the circulating air. Whereas in the morning, when heat is being absorbed instead, the air is vented up through the ceiling and released by the chimneys. More importantly, you must be wondering, why put all this effort when you can just put in air conditioners? Well, this design uses 35% less energy compared to other buildings, meaning it uses completely clean and renewable energy, as it uses passive cooling and is eco-friendly. Not only that, this is a cheaper option, so say bye to expensive electrical bills for air conditioning. And you don't need to pay the cost of buying so much air conditioner, reducing overall cost. The overall UN Sustainable Development Goals address are sustainable cities and communities and clean and affordable energy. That's all for our video. Thank you! To make a building, make a big Johan? Inside the Johan open the door. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> the hot air out, then 